Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Look at this crazy harvest behind us. <laughs> all of our seeds finally grew. I believe these were our wild seeds. And of course they are all foraging items that can be found in the fall and we have so many to collect today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, this is excellent because uh, we will be getting a lot of gold from all of these items and it looks like we might be collecting uh, more than one a piece thanks to um, um, what was it? Our foraging level, I believe? If I go in here somewhere, where are my skills? There we go. <laughs> when we leveled up in foraging, we selected the gatherer reward, which allows us to uh, sometimes harvest double items when we're collecting um, these foraging items. So this is perfect. I have a feeling that we are going to get quite a bit of gold from uh, this incredible harvest today. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be one step closer to uh, finally getting our kitchen. If I could just pick up the this, uh, oh, my inventory's full, that's why. <laughs> we have so many things that my inventory was actually full. So I need to go empty my pockets and then I can pick up the rest of those blackberries over there. We also have a letter to look at too, which um, I definitely want to check out. But first, let me just uh, figure out what we're going to sell off here. I don't think we really need to worry about um, saving these at the moment because I'm not really sure who likes them. And fall is uh, pretty, pretty much in the beginning right now. So we probably don't need to worry about uh, not being able to find these for a while so we'll just put all of these in the chest and a couple of our clams too which we found in the previous episode and uh, let's take a look at this letter while we're here if i could get into the mailbox <laughs> well, this is a long letter dear jess one week from today we are holding the stardew valley fair in the town square it's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you could set up a grand display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it from Mayor Lewis. Oh my goodness, nine items that best showcase our talents. Okay, <laughs> this is something to think about now. Nine items that best describe our talents. Oh my goodness. So what on earth could we bring here? I just put all of our foraging items in there. So I guess we're not going to be bringing that. Um, we should probably bring some of our crops once they grow. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Is this our corn? Um, no, our artichokes. Okay. I was going to say <laughs> green corn. That's probably not good. Um, artichokes. Huh? That's pretty good, I guess. Um, I'm, should we bring an artichoke? I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, take a look through my chest, I guess, and see what we have. I know we have a couple of items in here that we've grown previously because we're keeping them in our future kitchen chest. <laughs> so we could bring um, a star fruit if we wanted to, I guess. Um, that's pretty nice. I wonder if uh, people would like to see that. We'll save a few of our artichokes too, just in case. <laughs> just in case we need them for some reason. Um, we should definitely think about bringing maybe some minerals too that we find in the mines because I know we go into the mines a lot here. <laughs> and if we only had a kitchen, then we could bake some uh, nice little recipe for the place too. But nine items. I am really going to have to think about that. I will definitely come up with a, a little idea on what we can possibly bring in the next episode. Let me know if you have any ideas of what uh, we should bring, I guess, to the fair. So it's in exactly one week from now. So we really need to uh, think about what we're going to bring as soon as possible. But I am going to water the rest of my plants now and then I will be right back. Okay, there we go. And <laughs> we gave Daisy her water too. Hello, Daisy. Good morning. We don't want to miss saying good morning to you, of course. We'll go fill up our watering can. And then I was thinking we should probably take a peek around the town and uh, see if we can find Linus's basket. Because in the last episode, he gave us a quest. Um, I didn't need to water that. <laughs> I meant to click on the journal. And he wants us to find his blackberry basket. So he didn't say um, where it is. He has no idea where it is. So we need to uh, really search. I would imagine it's probably some somewhere in the uh, wilderness, in the forest or something, because that's probably where he would be picking uh, blackberries. But I also wanted to stock up on some uh, possible gifts for people around the town, just in case we run into anyone who might like uh, some earth crystals or some topazes <laughs> and maybe some quartz too. Um, we have so many things in this chest that I figure it might be a good idea to maybe get rid of some of it by uh, giving them off as gifts. We know that Sebastian likes these amethysts too. We finally figured out what he likes, so I'm definitely going to bring an amethyst just in case we run into him again. Um, maybe we should bring some flowers 
flowers too. We have a lot of daffodils. Uh, yeah, we'll bring some of these. Some lovely little daffodils to give to people because a lot of people seem to like these flowers. I'll keep my bait on hand too, actually, because that's uh, something else we need to check out. We need to go look at our brand new crab pots. We got a ton of crab pots in the last episode because we managed to complete one of the fishing bundles for the Junimo. So they were very, very happy about that. <laughs> and they gave us some more bundles or some more um, crab pots, I mean, to place into the water. And I believe I placed one in the town over here somewhere. But uh, oh, I see Emily and I have to give her a quartz because I know she loves these. Oh, Emily, no. <laughs> I just missed her. Here you go, Emily, 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 stop. There you go. Oh no, I've already given her a gift today? What? I don't think I did. Is it that strange glitch again? It must be that strange glitch. I had that happen with uh, Abigail too, where it said I gave her a gift, but I did not. There we go. Now it says, uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. So there we go. She did enjoy her gift indeed. And here's Abigail right here in the shop. I try to help out in the shop on most days. Business has been pretty bad since the Jojo Mart opened though. Oh no, I remember that um, Morris came in at one point and just uh, took everyone away and it looks like they might be having their little exercise sh session in here again. <laughs> It looks like they probably are. They're all uh, getting ready to start their little exercise party. And here's Marnie too. I remember she was in here maybe jumping rope last time. <laughs> so uh, is there anything we can give to these people? I, I'm not going to give one to Jody because her birthday's coming up and I don't want to mess up possibly giving her a birthday gift. That would be terrible. But let's give this to Caroline. Oh goodness, are you sure? Of course we are, Caroline. Of course we are. And here is Marnie. Thank you. This looks nice. That reminds me, we didn't say hi to our chickens today. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. <laughs> We're going to have to go back there and uh, give our chickens their breakfast, of course, because we don't want to forget about that. And what do you think Robin would like? We rarely give her gifts, so I'm not sure if she would like this earth crystal. Oh, she does, she really does. She thinks it's a very nice, so there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to leave them alone now because it seems like they are a little bit nervous to start with me hanging around there. So we are going to go back into the town and I'll try to find our crab pot after we take a look at this message. Okay, so the wizard wants us to slay some more slimes. He wants us to slay six slimes again. Um, last time it was only four, but that's probably a pretty good uh, quest to do because slimes seem to be pretty easy to find around the mines. Um, but our crab pot was over here, right? Yes. Oh my goodness, we have an adorable little snail. <laughs> and we got another achievement too, old mariner. Okay. Okay, so we have an adorable snail now. I remember that we could give that to the Junimos in the crab pot bundle, but we've finished the bundle now. So I guess uh, we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, this was another thing we could give to them in the crab pot bundle, but again, <laughs> no need to worry. And look at that, we got another crab too, yay! And we have, um, it looks like a shell in here, a little clam, if I could grab that, there we go. <laughs> and now we can fill all of those up with bait again. I found that you can craft bait using the bug meat that we find in the mines, which is excellent because I have so much of that. So now we can uh, definitely use that up. We're using quite a bit of bait over here, um, filling up all of our crab pots and also fishing because uh, we recently purchased the fiberglass rod, which takes bait and um, allows us to fish with bait. So every single time we fish, uh, it uses up one piece of bait. And there is Sam. I was looking for him in the other episode to give him this topaz. Here you go, Sam. Thanks, I really like this. You are welcome, of course. Um, I, I'm going to assume that nobody would really want this, <laughs> this little snail. It is adorable. Look at this snail. I'm just carrying a little snail on my head, which is exactly where it belongs. And um, I believe this is Emily's house and yeah, and um, oh gosh, what's her, what's her name? Haley, <laughs> Emily and Haley, but nobody's in at the moment. So we're just going to zip right out of here with our adorable pet snail on our head. <laughs> it is now our pet because I said so. And let's see, is anyone in here? Um, nope, everybody is out at the moment, which makes sense because it's only 3 p.m. So everyone is enjoying the day out on the town. Um, I wanted to look over here because we seem to find quite a few different things in uh, this part of the forest. So maybe Linus's basket would be around here somewhere. 
I'm going to uh, keep my eyes peeled and hope that I can find it. And uh, we're definitely going to stop into the wizard's hut and give him another one of these earth crystals too because he loves those. <laughs> he absolutely loves it when we give him uh, earth crystals. So we definitely want to give him more and more of those if possible. And look at this beach. There's so much trash down here. I wonder if there's a way to get down there and clean it up at some point. That would be nice. Oh, the hat mouse. I almost forgot about this guy. We have a lovely hat already, of course. Our lovely little snail. But uh, <laughs> let's check in here because I think, yeah, a few more are available now. We have a daisy. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love that. I might have to buy that daisy at some point. That is really cute. And um, the official cap looks like it's also new. It actually was unlocked with the achievement that we just received. <laughs> the old mariner achievement. So there we go. I really want to buy this daisy. I am very, very tempted to buy that right now. <laughs> but we'll come back when we have a little bit more gold. Probably after we... Um, finally get our kitchen. So that is something to look forward to for sure. <laughs> and I don't see his basket around here, which is a little bit unfortunate. I was really hoping we would just run into it down here somewhere. Unless I'm missing it. I don't know. Um, but I have a feeling maybe it's not down here after all. <laughs> There's that sewer again too. Ugh. Uh, we never figured out what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, the kids said that Gunther has the key to the sewer, which is very, very strange. Um, he never gave it to us, though. I still wonder if maybe he'll give it to us if we give him enough uh, things for the museum. Maybe that's going to be a reward of some sort. I don't really know. Um, we're just going to have to uh, figure that out on our own, I suppose. And let's go to the wizard's hut before we forget that so we can give him this lovely earth crystal. I believe his hut is this way. For some reason, I always end up taking wrong turns when I'm going to the wizard's house. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's uh, up this way. We should probably clear out some of this area too if I could find my scythe. There we go. We'll just uh, replace our hole with the scythe. And oh no, our inventory is full, so we can't even pick up that stuff. Um, maybe I should just toss out the trash <laughs> so we can pick up all of this fiber because I have a feeling the fiber is probably worth a little bit more than a random piece of trash. And let's see, is there anything else I could get rid of here? Um, oh dear, if we only gave am the uh, amethyst to Sebastian, then maybe we could pick up that little seed. But at the moment, I believe we're just going to leave it there <laughs> because I don't want to toss out the uh, amethyst right now. But let's go up here and let's say hello to the wizard. Hello, Mr. Wizard. We didn't complete your quest yet, but we will get on that eventually. <laughs> if you have nothing important to tell me, leave me be. I have much work to do. Okay, Mr. Wizard, but I think you might enjoy this little gift. Yes, he does. And look, he has um, two out of ten hearts now. Many thanks. <laughs> so maybe we'll be able to uh, get a little scene with the wizard soon. That would be nice. I really want to learn more about the wizard. We uh, haven't seen him too often because he seems to stick around his house over here, his little wizard tower. <laughs> he certainly doesn't go out into the town. Um, he doesn't even seem to participate in any of the uh, festivals that the town throws, so he really stays to himself, which is interesting. I wonder what he knows about the place, because the last, uh, last time we had a scene with him, he gave us his juice for the forest, <laughs> which was very strange. And I need to put my snail back on my head. There we go. That is more proper, isn't it? Okay, so let's go back into the town and see if we can find um, Sebastian. We'll see if he's lurking around. We, I'm not going to search too hard for him because I know we have a lot of trouble finding him in the fall time. So if we run into him, that's great. But if not, then that's okay. We'll also uh, fill up our little crab pots. I know we have some by his house, actually. Okay, so who's in here today? This is uh, Shane is over here, but we don't really... <gasps> no, I gave him my snail. No! <laughs> No, Jesse Mew, what are you doing? Why are you giving me your garbage? Shane, that is not garbage. That is my adorable pet snail that you just stole from us. Oh, Shane. Every time I try something new, it goes horribly wrong. You learn to just stay in a shell. Shane, <laughs> how dare you? You take our snail and you insult our snail. And then you say you're just living in your shell, just like a snail. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... We'll get over it. Let's give our little daffodil to uh, Pam over here <laughs> to make us feel better. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Thank you, Pam. At least you appreciate our gifts. Uh, our gifts that we actually mean to give you anyway. And we already gave Emily a quartz, so we don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure that Clint is not going to appreciate any of the minerals that we give him, so we're not going to worry about him. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I feel a hole in my heart right now. I gave away my beautiful pet snail. Oh, maybe we'll be lucky and we'll find a snail up here. Maybe. <laughs> it won't be the same. It's not our beautiful snail that we found by the bridge. But, um, it'll be something, right? Hopefully it's not just trash. That'll be even more heartbreaking. <laughs> Let's see what we have up here. Um, I don't see Sebastian in the area, but it is very, very dark, so it's kind of hard to see anyway. Um, yes, we have another snail, you guys! The world is saved here! We have another snail! <laughs> it is not the same, but it is a snail, so I am very, very happy. We are keeping the snail. We are keeping him right on our heads. We are not going to give it away to anyone. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to Shane, and I ended up giving him our beautiful snail. I can't believe that. So let's head back to the farm now that we have successfully reclaimed our beautiful pet snail. <laughs> we are going to go right home before anything else goes wrong and this snail is stolen from us once again. I'm just going to empty my pockets very, very quickly. Um, we'll place our minerals, not in there. <laughs> we'll place them back into this chest um, because we probably want to keep them on hand just in case anyone else is looking for a little gift. Um, we should probably sell off our coral too because that might be a good idea. We'll sell our crab as well. Um, <laughs> we'll probably get rid of our soggy newspaper too. I am going to have to find a very safe place for the snail because I don't want to accidentally give him away again. <laughs> and we're not going to risk putting him in this uh, little box either because we don't want Lewis to take our snail away. Uh, but there we go. We'll still have all of that stuff, the blackberries as well. And then we'll go in here and we'll say goodnight to uh, Daisy and we'll bring out our snail too. Here is our beautiful snail, Daisy. <laughs> Your brand new friend. So let's tuck into bed here. Um, we have to put our snail down apparently. There we go. <laughs> and we will end out the episode. So what I'd like to do is take a look at all of the gold that we're collecting from that huge harvest too. So we're just going to go a little bit further. But oh, look at that. We leveled up in foraging as well from all of those items that we ended up foraging today. And we can craft a lightning rod now that would have been perfect for the summertime. We haven't had any um, lightning storms since the summertime. So we'll have to uh, remember to craft that once we start getting more storms. But it looks like we can also make fall seeds now, which is excellent. And um, a warp totem for the beach. Okay, we're going to have to take a look at that in the next episode, I think. But let's see how much gold we made. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We made 3,000 gold from that entire harvest, that whole day. <laughs> that is excellent. So we're getting one step closer to our kitchen. Hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to get into that. And um, I believe on the 11th of fall, it'll be Jody's birthday. So a lot of things to look forward to. But thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye.